Good morning, good morning from Boston. Rainy Saturday. I'm about to hustle for the next five hours. I wanted to make a quick video because this is something I feel very passionately about and it's very under prescribed and it's almost swept under the rug. Many people are not told about it. They are not told that they have it. And if they are told that they have it, they are told that it is not important to correct. And I wholeheartedly 1000% disagree because I know that people are walking around with many symptoms because of this one thing that is left out of their prescription. And that is called astigmatism, not stigma, <laughs> astigmatism. It is simply when your cornea, that clear dome in the front of your eye, is slightly oval shaped. Some people refer to it as football shaped. And if you think about light passing through a perfect circle, it gives way to one point of focus. But when light passes through something oval shaped or football shaped, it gives way to two points of focus. So if you think of a cross, there's the vertical point, there's the horizontal point. Both of those points, they are not in the same position in space and they both need to be corrected in order for you to see your sharpest. So if this little portion of the prescription is corrected, this is when you will have your best vision, your sharpest vision. This will eliminate blur, it will eliminate fatigue, it will eliminate eye strain, it will eliminate headaches, migraines, sensitivity to light, all of the things that are happening there, all of those things can cause what I call ocular surface disease or dry eyes which involves redness, itchiness, tearing, irritation, foreign body sensation. So everything's connected. It's all involved in the same mechanism. And so many people are put on all kinds of medications. They are run through all kinds of testing when really they just need their prescription properly corrected with the full astigmatism corrected. If you think about it in your prescription, so let's say you don't wear glasses and you have astigmatism. So right out of the gate, you are forced to squint. So if you think of the cross, your eyeball is the aperture, top and bottom eyelid, that's the aperture. If you shorten the aperture, similar to focusing an aperture on a camera, that's basically what our eyes are, the cameras to the world, you are essentially trying to eliminate one of the focal points. So now you just have to try to figure out how to make the one focal point clear. But in squeezing our eyelids down and walking through our life staring and squinting and not blinking naturally like we're supposed to, this is drying out the surface of the eye. This is going to make the vision more blurry, ultimately, than if we were to just correct the astigmatism. So, next time you go to your eye doctor, and you can certainly come and see me if you want to, ask them for the numbers that they found. So for example, if they say, oh, you don't have a prescription, you're fine, just go. Say, oh, can I, can I see my numbers? Can I see my numbers? And if you see anything other than zeros across the board, which is highly unlikely and very rare, then you best believe that any of the symptoms that I described earlier are being caused by that uncorrected prescription. And most likely it's astigmatism. Please let me know if you have any questions. I know this was a lot of information and it's wild. People are really stunned. They're in disbelief every day, all day long. I get people that don't believe me. <laughs> they, they don't agree with me because they've always been told something different. And it's not until they actually go ahead and get the eyeglasses or the contact lenses 
to correct the prescription that they have and it resolves all of their symptoms that they then actually believe believe the process and believe me and believe that they have a prescription and believe that it needs to be corrected and believe that it can eliminate symptoms because you don't have to suffer I it breaks my heart to hear people saying oh my eyes are red but that's normal oh my eyes tear sometimes but that's normal oh you know they itch but you know I have allergies so that's normal no you don't have to suffer with any of those symptoms they can all be relieved and usually by wearing the proper prescription Okay, I hope this helps. I hope you have a lovely Saturday. Have an awesome weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.